In the last week, some images have been spreading around the internet showing what's called a Mavic Moor. But all may not be as it seems. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Ashwin Droning On, and images of what's called the Mavic Moor have been spreading like a virus around Mavic and DJI groups. Some people have seen these posted into the official DJI groups and believe them to be real. Well, <coughs> unfortunately, they're not. These images actually first emerged in August, and they were created by a 3D model designer called Wenjian Zhu. Sorry if I've mispronounced your name. This 3D designer states in the comments of his original post that he'd been unemployed for a while, and therefore I suspect he got feeling a little bit creative and decided to create a new drone. Now looking closely at these images, it's clearly based on the Mavic Air, and it's kind of like a bit of a modern hybrid. The one thing I would say about the design concept is that it doesn't actually look very compact or portable because it's got some obtruding elements at the front which wouldn't be particularly compact and just in general it doesn't look quite as compact as the Mavic Air's standard design. You'll notice that the props actually fold under the drone instead of the Mavic Air's design where they fold over and under but also the arms do have that nice folding undercarriage which flips down. It does have a very odd design at the front, and I'm not sure quite what the creator was thinking there, but basically, I guess one concept is that it protects the camera from damage. However, with those long pointed elements, I would imagine that in reality, those would actually intrude in the image, depending on the FOV of the camera. The battery fits underneath this concept, just like the original Mavic Air, and it has front and rear obstacle avoidance using that stereo vision system. One of the oddities about this design is it has additional cameras and sensors in that front element, and they are appearing to be 45 degrees downward pointing, kind of like the visual inertial odometry system that we see on the high grate Mark drone. It's a really nice looking concept and the images are indeed very DJI looking. We actually contacted the author of these images to ask him about his thinking behind this. Hi, I'm Wang Jinshu, an ordinary industrial designer based in Shenzhen in China. Like many people, I have a yearning for fine since childhood. I like drones very much. In fact, I assembled my own on the basis of the DJI F450 platform several years ago. Drones are still in the early stages of the rapid development, and technology mining is still the way of its development. It is difficult to see a good design. The DJI Mavic Air is a great design. In my opinion, Pierre's drone design has been referring to the design of aircraft, while Mavic Air is more referring to the characteristics of verticals as a design scheme of consumer electronics. It has more affinity and close the distance between users. I like Mavic Air very much. So one day, an interesting thing happened. I wonder what would happen if I have designed this product. What would it be like to change Mavic Air ships on the basis of keeping Mavic Air so? Folding four rotor drones had four motors and arms, and they can be folded. It is a structural appearance and a mechanical component. Since this is a difficult point to change, why don't we modify this feature and make it the most important one? Just started to car the motorcycle with a standalone rack and expo it. Batteries, arms, upper cover, balcony, rear cover, and so on are all fixed to this barrel rack. Secondly, the camera part of the Mavic Air is similar and close. Trying to integrate the camera and the fuselage, the starting point is good, but one point is overlooked at here. The ratio of the camera part to the front face of the fuselage is not in harmony. Why not design it as open? This is also in line with the original intention of the mechanization. Overall, I enjoyed this design project. It was just for fun, and the end result I am very pleased with. So there we go, and links to the high resolution images are in the video description, so if you do want to take a look, click there. In the meantime, please be careful about what you believe online, and be careful to check things out before you share them, because otherwise, fake news like this spreads, spreads, and spreads, and before you know it, there's a big feeding frenzy around it. We hope you found this video interesting, comment below with your thoughts, give this video a thumbs up, and of course, click subscribe.